In this video, I will tell you tips to play the song, how to use the pedal, and where to emphasize the dynamics. If you hear the original soundtrack, you will hear that he sang and only played a chord. For the piano solo, we have to do both, playing the chords and the melody lines at the same time. Here is the first tip. Bring out the melody line over the chords. Chords are played in background to support melody lines. The melody is actually this is the melody. But if you see it, the right hand, the second line, first note is chord, and the melody line comes. And then, and then only the E is melody line, but left hand, G and D, right hand, even thumb, plays the chord, and then melody lines. So actually, right hand plays both melody lines and chord at the same time. But it's easy to play it even. But do not. You should bring it out melody lines over the chords. Chord has to be softer. So hear it more E than B. If you drop at the same time, then the chord will eat all the melody lines. to be really steady and deep sound if your left hand is steady and full the melody line will be able to float on the chord When you drop the chord, it will break the mood, it will break the sound, it will break the melody line. The chords always need to be softer than the melody, yet they should be clear enough to hear. Hold longer notes as much as you can. In this song, there are lots of holding notes. If you're looking at the first measure, there are notes on the bottom that are longer than the melody line. I tell you one, two, three. Where you're bringing out the melody line, you have to keep holding them. These are all needs to be held for their full value. It is hard and confusing, but these holding notes are adding colors of the sound. Build it up the melody line. Do you hear it? It will be completely cut. It. This time, we will go over dynamics. First, you should start soft and gentle. yet dark and heavy. To make soft and gentle sound, you have to stay on the key. Don't lift your hands too high. 
sand to keep. Almost not noticeable. When did you change your finger? Keep holding. To make dark and heavy sound, drop your hands slow. You have to be on time, but be careful. Make sure that you're dropping slow and gentle. Also, when you drop your hands, drop your whole entire arms as a unit. Don't use your wrist nor finger, but use whole entire arm as a unit. Stay on the key. And then lift and drop. Almost not noticeable. See it? Drop. So you're gonna make, if you lift high and use your wrist and finger a lot, that's going to make a chip and light sound. It's soft. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Soft. Soft. That's melody line. And then soft again. Do you see it? So you have to divide melody line and chord. Definitely melody line is more. So forte, piano, forte, piano, back and forth. Because your right hand plays melody line and comes back again and play chords again and go back to the melody line, comes back to the chord. So forte, piano, forte, piano, forte, piano. In here, forte doesn't mean that you have to play really loud. But I mean compared to your chord. That's louder than, of course, this chord, but not really hitting hard. It doesn't mean that hitting hard. Just play more volume. And the very last line of the second page. That one is you building up because that's the climax. So what you have to do is even if that's the chord, you have to build up the volume so the melody line can come smooth in. So I will go over the very last line. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Up to here is just metro piano. One, two, three. Now starting one, two, three, one, two, three. You see it? That's the, of the forte. You're building up your mouth dynamics. loud enough so the melody line can come on built it on above the chord sound one two three one two slowing down your tempo and preparing for ending. And leaving 
last message. Say something. Say something. One, two, three. One, two, three. Say something. And then you didn't finish the sentence. So. But ending, prepare for the D chord and drop as close as possible. The last part is pedal. The basic rule for pedal is changing every chord. Whenever chords are changed, you have to change pedal too. It means in other way, if the same chord is played over a measure, you should keep holding the pedal instead of changing. Some people are changing pedal every beat or every measure, no matter what chord they are playing. Also, when you change pedal, you have to lift all the way to the end and then push down again. If it's a pedal, sometimes people are holding down and before it comes to complete up, they just push down again. Why? Because it's busy. Then what's gonna happen? Pedal never be cleared completely. It just keep holding previous sound. Therefore, lifting pedal completely and push down again is very important.